Hi there, welcome to QA Box and this new series about mastering XPath for UI automation testing. All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to write basic XPath. And this is the sample control section that I'm going to use to write the XPath. So, few things before we actually jump on writing the XPath. So, this is asterisk, right? We have talked about this. This is something that we use in the XPath expression and when we do so the script will search in the dom with any html tag okay so this is a very generic uh, way of identifying uh, an element the next is tag so you go specific now so you say hey i want all the input tags okay then how can you make it even further specific so you say i want all the input tag which contain this particular attribute and you can also be more expressive by saying that hey i want input which has got this attribute which has got this particular value all right so we'll see all this step by step and we are also going to see you know uh, different uh, abbreviations and how can we replace those abbreviations but in practice you are going to use abbreviation that's why they are for all right so let me open the console now and let's understand this structure first. So we have HTML, then we have head and body. And inside that, we have three divs and this one field set. So all our fields are inside this field set. So I'm going to do control F. I'm using Chrome browser. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to say HTML. Okay. Uh, we have to start with this all right so when we say forward slash this is absolute xpath right we are starting from html and asterisk let's understand this so it is telling you there are two children under this tag all right it does not uh, tell you that you know all these the, the grandchildren right it tells you all the children all right so head and body are the children of html okay so now this is the abbreviation. Now, how can I change it? So we can say child and then HTML and asterisk. So I get the same result. Okay. So this asterisk is done. Next is we have to go specific now. Okay. And now to go specific, I'm going to use, of course, first of all, absolute XPath. So I'm going to use this, right? So uh, instead of using this, we can also use descendant or self, okay? So we are going to see that uh, that's an abbreviation for descendant or self. That's how you do it, okay? And then you say this. And what do you want? You want div, all right? So now you see there are four divs that it is talking about, right? One, two, and three, and there is one more, right? So uh, with uh, two forward slashes, you're saying that, okay, search anywhere within the DOM, not just limited to the, the child of the, the current node, all right? And you can also do this, all right? So you see the same results. So we talked about the abbreviation for two forward slash as well, okay? And then, so this is going to return you all the divs but what do you want right let's say i want this okay i want to select this one okay so how can i find this one so if i say input okay so there are two inputs right let me if you hit enter so you could see that now in the element node uh, dom as well and in the, on the screen as well so right so two things are highlighted Okay, so I want to identify this one. So how can I do that? So I can say the square brackets and inside that you are going to provide in the attributes. So let me use the placeholder attribute. So if I say, and for that you have to use either this syntax. Okay, now you, you see that still two are being highlighted because it is not able to uniquely identify that. Or you can also do attribute and then so still the same thing. All right so at is the abbreviation for attribute and those two columns uh, colon sorry right now if i want to provide the value so what are we going to say we're going to say equal equal is an operator 
XPath operator. There are many more operators like you know which we are going to see in the upcoming videos. So in this video, equal is good enough, and then you have to use two single quotes and you have to pass in the value of the attribute. So I'm going to take a copy of it. And if I say now you see I'm able to identify one of one. Okay. So this is how you, you can make it more specific and identify the, the single control. Okay. Now, how are you going to use that? So before we do that, we can also use instead of single uh, quotes, we can use double quotes. Okay. And it is still going to identify it, but mm -hmm. this will cause problem if you are using Java because in Java, we use uh, double quotes actually to represent a string. So there are two solutions. Either you can go for this single one. All right. But if you are uh, willing to use this then you have to escape these right so you're going to use backward slash and then you can escape these two things right so that's how you are going to build your basic xpath thank you so much